Hi, I'm Mr. Franklin, and in this video, we're going to review our quantity diamonds. This is our first time doing this um, for this class, and so we're going to be reviewing some quantities. Basically, the whole goal of this is to start getting you thinking in terms of a measurement. So that's what we call a quantity. A quantity is a thing that we measure. So, um, for example, length is a thing that we measure. That's called a quantity. Um, and then we measure it in a set unit which so we have a quantity, we have a symbol that we're going to later use for our math, we're going to use variables. So like instead of y equals 2x, we might use l equals 2 times t. Okay, for example, so we, we're going to use these variables in our math as we go forward. Um, so right now we're just practicing learning and getting familiar with them. So mass is the symbol m not to be confused with the m for meter how do i know the difference this symbol will always be by itself this symbol should always be accompanied by a number so 2.5 meters that tells us that m is meters whereas if it was m by itself then we are talking about mass equals 2.3 kilograms Okay, so the M is by itself, that's a quantity, and that is mass. This is with the number, so it's got to be a unit, and that would be meters. So we're going to work through that some more, um, but that, that's kind of where we're going with this. So you really are going to need to start learning these and know them cold. You also need to pay attention to the case. So like this one's uppercase, uppercase, that actually is important because a lowercase k means something else. Lowercase n is different than a capital N, okay? So we have to pay attention to the case of the letter as well. All right, so let's jump into the quantity diamonds and focus on what we should be doing here. I tried to give you at least one, if not two of the squares already filled in, and it had a quantity with its matching unit, and then you were supposed to write the variable and the unit symbol and then a couple of these, I gave you the opposite version. And so then you had to fill it in backwards. Most of these were in this list up here. There were a couple that were not that you might have had to look up and that might be where you struggle. So let's jump into the key here. And in this setup, we tended to go, I went down. So time uses the letter T and then seconds is measured with S, okay? Length, cursive L, meter, lowercase m. So length is measured in meters, and those are the symbols we use for those. Mass has the symbol m, and it's measured in kilograms. Distance, d, meter, m. Force, this one we gave you the F. So F stands for force, which is not in our list. So this might have been a little bit of a challenge and it's measured in Newtons. Force is always measured in Newtons. So F is a force and it's measured in Newtons. So we have a repeat here. We have mass and then we have kilogram. Temperature, T, K for Kelvin. So the temperature we use in physics is gonna be the Kelvin. Yes, there's degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. Notice this has, does not use the degree symbol. That's on purpose because Kelvin is not a degree. We'll talk about that when we get to temperature stuff. Ampere is the amp, and that's a measure of current. This is actually a capital I. It's the one downside to using a computer to type, because we should use that version of the I to make it clear. Luminous intensity should also be IV, so it's I for intensity, and then lowercase v, IV, and we measure it in the candela. Amount of substance, lowercase n, Okay, tells us how many particles there are, and we met, and we also measure that in moles. And the shortcut is MOL. So that's all I've got. Thank you for watching, and make any corrections you need to, and resubmit those if you're in my class. Thank you. Have a good night.